Back to the stage, Bada Dragon. One of you, or rather both of you, will win a cup of tea suck you badge this evening. Yay! But after the lip sync, only one of you will get an advantage for next week, okay? That's how it's gonna work. So we're gonna go over to our judges once again, starting with Bada Traveler. You know what? There's nothing bad about your drag. I think you should change your name. What a great fucking performer! I think some of, some of the things that I gave earlier is like, pick a theme, run with it. And you need that. I mean, how many times we've seen a drag performer doing that song, the whippy whippy thingy? You did it. And I think that was the first, my favorite time that I've seen someone do it. It was so simple and it was so effective. Even when you were on the floor, just like, quite whippy. I'm Spanish, I can't pronounce words, just like Scottish people, that's why I'm here. Um, <laughs> You were incredible, you picked something, you run with it. It was funny, it was charismatic, and I felt I got to know you. Also, I love that there was some cohesion between your first look and your second one. I feel like in one night, I got to know who you are. And that was the whole point of this night, and I don't really know where I'm going to perform. Keep doing this. My only critique, keep working hard. You set the standard very high for yourself. So just keep working hard. You are charismatic, you are beautiful, and if you make this yourself, I mean, where, bitch? I just want to say, like, I know that your favorite color is always the green, um, and I, I, I just loved your performance, your heart. Like, it was, like, every single beat, you got it. Every facial expression, you got it. Like, no complaints in the performance. Like, for real. Get, get out for Bata Drive, everyone. For real. This look, Versace, honey. Like, the fact that you made this yourself as well, like, I want to give you like 10 out of 10 on that. Like, oh, fucking speechless, bitch, speechless. <laughs> Slay, yes! <laughs> so, Bala, I said earlier about um, cohesion between the performance and the runway, and with your runway description, I got to know that you're a very intelligent person, evidently, because what you presented tonight is parody of drag. Isn't that right, Bada? I think you know. I think you know. Literally, we saw a performer tonight whipping their hair around to whip it at the end of the show. And at the start of the show, we had a performer doing a parody about whipping your hair, right? It was very cohesive. And you clearly are an intelligent performer. And you have a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. When it comes to the actual stagecraft, I would love to see you more give eye contact to the audience. Like you're giving to me right now, okay? I'm obsessed with it, right? You, you uh, had a very difficult job going first and I know it's a very big night and it's a new stage and all these things. You were fabulous, but I think if you give a little bit more in the eyes to the audience, you would sell it just that extra bit more. But it was a fabulous job, and you should be very, very proud of yourself. Make some noise for Bada Draga! And we are going next to Chloe Rose! The flower headpiece, beautiful, the stoning. I could keep going. You look beautiful, like you are stunning. <laughs> and 
and then talk about the whole package. When you started your number, I thought we've been talking about uniqueness. Please don't give me just a mix of crowd pleasers. Please don't do that. You started singing some songs and then you fucking turned it and you made this whole mix performance about your fucking self. Like, I, I've never seen that. I've seen many queens that go on stage and sing a couple songs, everyone sings along. You did that and you also made it about yourself. We got to know who you fucking are. You're a stunning queen, just keep going. I have no notes, perfection. Hi, Hi, Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm almost eating up because like, seeing a woman on the stage, like, it's just, it's so refreshing. Like, what? Like, I, I'm not gonna put my clipboard down, bitch. What you did on that stage tonight, like, no one else sang, bitch. You killed that shit. You fucking killed that. The visuals, everything was to a deep perfection. And that's this outfit. I'm like, I'm fucking gagged. But did you make this headpiece? Yes. Oh, yeah. God. yeah, like, I'm. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. Speechless perfection. Hi, Chloe! Hello! Yeah, so um, I have to echo what literally everyone else has said. You are absolutely fucking amazing tonight. Now, once upon a time, Chloe Rose quit drag everybody. I think I speak for everyone I say, I'm so fucking glad she is back! You were so animated and so energetic in your performance. We have obviously seen a million one times a drag queen pick up a microphone and start singing, but I've never quite seen someone do it the way that you did tonight, with the movement and the animation and the energy, and with the visuals. You took us into like, the Chloe Rose fantasy, and it was really quite fabulous. Is there feedback on this microphone? I don't give a fuck. Anyway, yes, no, you're absolutely fabulous. Obviously, if there was any notes, when it came to the lip syncing in the number, I can tell that you're more comfortable singing into a microphone than you are with lip syncing. But that was just a little thing, just a little thing. And when it comes to this look, bitch, you already motherfucking know you shut the building down! I think what you said, I think you have the best look of the night. You look fucking amazing, and you should be so fucking proud of yourself. of your sisters and your brothers. It's incredible to see how much you're hyping everyone up. Well done you. This is a competition, but you're gonna make sisters and brothers forever. Remember this. This is a unique experience. I did drag, before I was on Drag Race, I did drag right on Newcastle, and the queens that I competed with that year are still in my life. So look at each other, hold each other's hands, and remember that this is a little start. Like, it's I'd love to see you all clapping for each other, cheering each other, well fucking time. Now, that being said, I mean, your name is kind of like, Peach is in your name, I have to fucking love you already. <laughs> um, my notes were, what the actual fuck is going on? And I loved it, unexpected, visually appealing. That's what we love to see. You took a glass of water, we thought you were gonna throw it to your hair, and you said, Peach, no. I don't have any water on me. This is going right over my head. And I loved it. Not a, not a little drop touched you. <laughs> you know? I'm obsessed. And then you took that big instrument. What was the name? It's a French horn. Exactly. Do you know how to play it? I do. I used to play at um, advanced higher music. And, um, I, I love that. Because now you have weeks to actually show us that you can play it, because tonight that wasn't the case. <laughs> I just love that you grabbed it and you went, Whoa. You're a chaos, but we need to see you in control of all of it. We want to be in with the job. We want to see that 
and everything has been well thought through. And then I'm gonna go on to your aesthetics. I love an alien queen. I think this is great. This is a great evolution from what you showed us in your performance. The alien thing can become a gimmick. Just going forward, make sure you develop your brand, okay? I, I don't know you from, I just met you tonight. I love what I see, but I know sometimes when you have something so, so juicy like being an alien queen, you need to develop this character through all the competition. It's a great opportunity to let everyone know, and myself, who you fucking are. You did it tonight. Look, 10, 10, 10, I love you. Well fucking done. Okay. Hi, Galaxy. I feel like um, I love everyone that I've seen tonight. I feel like you have one of the most distinct personas, and I can only commend you on that because, like, it's, it's hard to stand out from these fucking bitches with the, with the Amazon two pieces <laughs> and stuff. However, I wrote, I wrote th three words: oh fucking horn. And to be honest, I'm glad I couldn't hear it. I was coming out of the TV, but I think that you need to just rein it in, like pick two or three things from what you did in the first performance to like make it cohesive and make it linear because I feel like it was, it was a bit much remember with this look I love this look it's, it's really fierce it's very on brand for you I love the tie dye I love the blue it's, it's fierce and also this hair gorge it looks like, it looks like, like, a, like a fish like a fish creature oh oh probably one of your first ever performances and I just want to commend you on how far you have come as a track performer in a very short space of time. I think that your makeup specifically is a cut above almost everyone in the competition. You look absolutely fucking amazing, okay? And you have such, as everyone else has said, a visually distinct brand. I think you've done fabulously. What do you bring to your aesthetic in terms of how controlled and concise and clean you have brought your, your makeup and you get together? I want to see you bring to your performances, right? I think tonight was probably the most controlled I've ever seen you perform. With, with your choreography above you, it was be nice to be able to reference uh, what was happening uh, in double time. Absolutely fabulous. But I know that I have had the feeling that when you're on stage, you're like, I've got to do everything, I've got to do everything, you've got to throw everything at the wall. And you don't need to do that because what you bring is amazing as it is, okay? So just take uh, take it down just one one notch, just one notch, edit, bring one thing to the stage, one idea, and tell that idea to attend, and you'll, okay, you'll have a winning combination, okay? Thanks so much for Galaxy Pick Thank you. Thank you. Red Church is moving swiftly on to kneecaps. Hello, hi beautiful, how are you? I'm feeling good, yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna be very straightforward. You have everything a queen and a performer needs to win this competition. So, I'm just gonna go with that. But, there's always a but. I feel tonight, yeah, exactly the question about your performance. I feel tonight you've been a little bit safe. However, that track that you played at the beginning was the best mixed track of the whole competition today. Like, did you mix it yourself? Yeah, yeah, I mixed it. Bitch, are you taking commissions? Because I'm gonna send you a couple ideas I have, because that was perfection. I mean, if you want, how much have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Rook girls are not that rich, let me tell you. <laughs> Unless you're Lawrence Chucky. Um, <laughs> no, listen, I think that's a track, I was selling them backstage. That's a track that you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be able to perform that for years. It's so good, it's simple, but it's it shows who you are, it allows you to show a range. And I think you have all the moves, you have the face, you have the outfits. We expect you to bring it to the next level. And what's a better place than this competition to fucking do that? Thank you. I think it's very easy, you're talented, you're gorgeous, it's very easy to rely on that. Use that stage to push yourself a little bit. Because I feel we have a great career already. I mean, I don't know you from, from before, but I, the vibe that I get is that you are already very well respected, and I love everything that you presented. So well polished. Make an effort to push it to the next level, and you probably got this. So well done. Thank you. Hello. Um, I just want to say, like, I loved your performance. I thought it was very well made next. I thought it was clean. It was like the dance bit. Fucking hell, bitch. That's a bit me. But like, I feel like there was almost a disconnect from the like the face down. I feel like I feel like we're thinking about what we're gonna do next, and I'm just saying, bitch, don't. 
because you know what you're gonna do and you know that you're gonna fucking kill it. So you need to just fucking do that shit, right? And also, this run music, love the run music. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Sonic, I'm a huge fan of Sonic. I feel like, what's, what's her name, the purple bitch, please? Blaze the Cat. I feel like I'm about to Blaze the Cat. I feel like we could do like a, like a collab soon. But, um, you know, like, and also this hair, it's going to be that bitch from Glee. The cheerleader, Sue Sylvester. Like, the hair is going to Sue Sylvester. But no, uh, this run really is one of my favorites. It's really, really good. Thank you. Um, Drag package with the look and with the performance, but I, what I felt like was missing from the performance tonight was maybe a little bit more fun. I want to see you have a little bit more fun, and I feel like you needed to like really be in the energy of the performance at the time in which it's happening. And uh, yeah, but other than that, your movements were very polished and your body is very very polished, and yeah, I pretty much agree with everyone else had to say. So, please join us for the recaps, everyone. Thank you for sticking us. Normally we don't give everyone critiques, but we are doing it this week. This is week one. We've got two left. So please make some noise for Patch! Patch! Um, I mean, what can we say? The audience is already saying it. Talk about shock and fucking X Factor. You fucking got it. I think everyone in this competition should have a look at you. Have a look at what you did tonight and just learn how to shock an audience. My jaw was dropped. My jaw dropped through your whole fucking number at the beginning with the moves. Then when you fucking took that, I don't know what. A uh, what? Lightsaber. That, that shiny stick. I loved it and it was changing colors and the drama and the theatrical, you went down and then the light changed to red and we all went, bitch! She's, oh my god, they, sorry, I don't know your pronouns, what are your pronouns? Oh, I don't know, usually they. They, 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 they. They are amazing! I feel like you bring a very unique brand and I'm very, I, I've been left very excited. It was when you came on stage. I thought, okay, I need to come back. I need to come back to the final to see how this is gonna end because this this has been incredible. So well fucking done. And this look as well, cohesion. I feel like I get who you are just from tonight. And you know what? I fucking love it. No for yeah, you know, because this is an obsessed, drunk excellence. I love everything about it. Uniqueness is what you have. Shock factor. Remember these two things. Keep banking on those two things and you'll go far into the next generation. One time. Love you. Uh, I'm going to do the quick thing, but I am so upset that I haven't seen you perform before because that was fucking phenomenal. Honestly. <laughs> So come out here and do what you just did. I've never seen any bitch do that, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very proud. I'm very, very proud. And this look, it, it captures who you are. It's very visual game, it's very like edgy, and I love it. I love it. Tens across the board. <laughs> hi, Patch. Hi. Um, your movement quality is so unique. The way you move is like liquid, it's like silk. It's, I've never seen anyone perform quite like you. You are a true, unique person when it comes to Dragon Scotland. You should be very, very proud of that. Your performance night, shut the fucking building down. I've got nothing else to say except that. And finally, to receive their critiques, make some noise for Venus. Venus! I wrote two words, and they were you bitch. Yeah. You are stunning! Yeah. I'm blown away. Like when you get most of like natural hair, like I'm I'm living. I'm living. Your moves were so clean. The whole number, the whole package you presented us tonight was so beautifully presented. I feel like you're one of those performers that we get to know.
know straight away when you're on stage. You're so pure. Everything just felt so ethereal. Another thing that I that I noted as soon as you came on stage, I felt safe on your hands. I felt the performance was going to be great. And that's something that very few performers have because we get nerves, we get nervous, it's a competition. I don't know if you were nervous, you you faked it so well if you were, because I felt so safe on your hands. I could sit back, relax, and watch you perform. That's a very unique characteristic. That's your strong point. Keep back on that display. I was, and then I was gonna give you a note on your performance, but then I feel like you fixed it and you surprised me with your look. I thought the first look was just a black mesh bodysuit. It was, it was, your number was so good and you're so stunning. I felt the outfit didn't bring anything to the performance, but then you came in this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I know we can't always afford the most beautiful clothes. We can always afford to bring something stoned. Don't worry too much about it. If you just can add a little something to make it a little bit more you and a little bit more elevated like this, you fucking got it. It's my only note for you. You are. I'm excited for you now, and I'm excited to see who, like the performer you're gonna be in a few years, because I know we're gonna hear a lot from you. It's just so exciting. But, uh, um, now, as a fellow trans woman, we ask that give give a credit for the cheer. I feel like yeah, the the body suit didn't give much in the performance. However, you had that quality about you that you held your own and you fucking killed that shit. Like you, like every single beat was hit, every single move, bitch, those splits. You need to teach me how to stretch like that for real, for real. And this this guy, I feel like. I feel like it's just, it's so different from the, the performance that it's so quintessentially you. Like it's just ethereal, it's feminine, it's sexy. I've killed it. Uh, your performance was absolutely fabulous. It was very crowd pleasing. It had all the notes that are a sickening uh, dancing drag number needs to hit. It was very, very bookable. I loved it. It was very, very sickening, okay? Uh, in terms of the runway, I feel like there's an ever so slight disconnect between what you presented look wise versus what you showed as your sitting on the drag performance. But I think that's because you are a very glamorous queen. I think we'll get to see more sides of you and the way you show your, your drag, both in performance and in uh, aesthetics and visuals throughout the competition. Uh, but you look absolutely stunning. Tonight. It was the first time I've ever had the privilege of watching you perform, and I was very, very entertained. So, make some noise for me, everybody! I'm Jamalikas. Please make some noise for all of you judges this evening. We had such a hard job to break this down. The level of talent on stage was truly incredible. So, thank you for all of your wise words. I'm sure all of our contestants are very, very grateful to hear them. But for now, I am going to announce the top two for this evening, okay? Can I get a drum roll, please? The first contestant in the top two this evening is... Patch. Yeah! Patch, you can leave the stage together. The second contestant tonight, lip syncing for the win, is Chloe Ray. Well done, you all scored in the top this evening. You're all through the next week. Go 